Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. Today I'll be drawing my half of a collaboration with my good friend Parasol Mushroom here on YouTube. So this is my first ever collaboration video, we've got the second collab that I've done with Para. We were brainstorming ideas when we came up with the idea of doing two similar pieces that were both equal and opposite. We figured that this would be a fun idea considering we share interest in nature and wildlife, but we have different stylistic approaches. Para's got this awesomely adorable illustrative style whereas I lean towards the more realistic, but that being said, I really wanted to push myself outside of my comfort zone with this piece and create something more imaginative and surreal than what I usually go for. So we knew that we wanted to draw animals and that to create even more contrast the animals had to symbolise something and we figured that life and death were strong but vague themes that we could uh, use to inspire us and uh, that we'd also use contrasting colours and paper to heighten the differences between our pieces. But on the other hand, we decided that we wanted our pieces to be similar compositionally, so we both went for a front-facing angle of our animals on a square piece of paper. I ended up choosing the theme Death and a Wolf for mine, if you hadn't already guessed by now, and I decided that I wanted to make him look ghostly and ethereal. Well, I had no idea how to do this and I ended up doing some sketching and research and I found a tutorial by Lethal Chris here on YouTube on smoke, which I loosely followed to start with. I then swatched out a bunch of colours on a separate piece of paper as well and I chose colours I thought were cold and ghostly and ended up with a handful of sort of turquoise shades. The coloured pencils that I used were Derwent Studio and Faber-Castell Polychromos primarily, but I also ended up using some of the Derwent Artists black and white pencils and my trusty Caran d'Ache Luminance white to pick out some of the details. I also used white pen towards the end to enhance the uh, brightness of that white. I used black Cancer Mittance paper, which was quite the experience. Um, working backwards, so applying light pencil to very dark paper, is a bit mind-boggling but really enjoyable. I'll definitely be revis revisiting white on black in the future. With the wisps of smoke or fire, I wanted them to generally follow the form of the wolf while still moving in a way that you could expect a flame or column of smoke to move. It certainly wasn't easy and I ended up just sort of going with the flow, rather than trying to make any sense of the forms of the wisps. Another limitation was that I wanted the smoke to look organic rather than being symmetrical, but without distorting the anatomy of the wolf and making him look uneven. Helpfully, most of the wolf's fur is in a sideways or upwards direction, which made the majority of the process fairly easy, but um, things became more challenging towards the end of the piece where I was drawing in the neck and the fur down the neck is in a downwards direction and I end up having to compromise here and follow the direction of the fur rather than the upwards nature of smoke. As for blending with this piece, I tried blending with the pencils themselves as well as blending pencils and I think I used uh, the Caran d'Ache Full Bright Blender, the Prisma Colour Blender and the Derwent Blending Pencil for this job. But towards the end of the piece I gave Odorless Mineral Spirits a go and I ended up liking the soft effect that it gave. I did something a little bit different to what I usually do and I used a paper blending stump to apply the OMS and I found that this really helped to push the pigment around and into the grain of the paper. Um, I usually use a soft round um, bristled brush but um, I didn't want to use that on this piece um, for fear of making it appear a little bit more streaky. I also usually avoid using odorless mineral spirits or paint thinners on cancer mitons paper as I find that it restricts the amount of layers that I can get, but this time I found that it was really helpful and I only used it towards the end of the piece when I was almost finished. I also found that the odorless mineral spirits was perfect for uh, creating that really soft look around the edges of the wisps and sort of make them look like they were fading into thin air. Overall, the process was very different to my usual method, but I really enjoyed colouring in the sections and picking out the contrasts and details, so I definitely think I'll have to experiment more with this style. 
I'd love it if you could check out Paris Half the Collab to see what she created and how she made it. Links to her video and channel are in the description box below and in the info cards. So what would have you guys drawn given the design constraints of a deathly animal? I'm curious and I'm sure that you guys have some fantastic ideas. So please let me know in the comment section. So here's my finished piece. I had so much fun with this collaboration. It's really insightful working on a project with another artist and I certainly recommend it to anybody who's considering it. I think it's great practice for learning about project constraints, planning and direction, as well as compromising too. Parasol Mushroom, of course, was an absolute delight to work with and I love how her piece turned out. I'm pleased with mine too and grateful for the little kick to try something a bit different and challenging. I hope that you found this video interesting, please leave it a like if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more challenges, reviews, tutorials, as well as other arty videos. Remember to check out Para's channel. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next video.